So One Valley Woman just got back from the inauguration. Dr. Shadow Asgari joins us this morning with her uh, two children. Good morning to you. Good morning. Hi, you guys. Thank this you is Rocky and us. Ella. Yes. Thank you for coming in. Absolutely. It's our pleasure. Was it just so surreal so, to be there with everybody? And that really is a word to describe it. Very surreal after having left there. But um, just truly a privilege to have witnessed um, such an important part of American history and American tradition. And I mean, really standing there in the crowds, it wasn't, didn't really matter which side you were on, uh -huh. because I felt it was truly a celebration of what makes America great, that yeah. we have this peaceful transition of power every four to eight years that we truly enjoy and sometimes take for granted. Yeah. Is that what it felt like being there, that there truly was kind of a sense of unity? There was um, in the inauguration itself. Yeah, um, beyond. Beyond that, I mean, you've seen all the reports. The yeah, and she can tell you a lot about the protesters. Yeah, really? What do you think, I Ella? So. I liked everything except that there are protesters blocking the entrance into the inauguration and the Freedom Ball. What was that like for, as a mom to kind of share with the kids that whole experience? Because a lot of kiddos in classes in the Valley watched it on television. But sure. to actually be there with your kids. Sure. I mean, it was truly unbelievable. And that's one of the reasons we took our kids. It's once in a lifetime opportunity and such a great lesson for them yeah. um, as far as what America is, what it is to elect a president every four years, um, what the swearing in ceremony is. Um, Rocky, he was asking me, what does swearing in mean? And he got to witness that for himself, you know, hand on the Bible, the right hand up, and taking that oath of office was great. I mean, he'll remember that forever. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got some stories to tell now this week back at school, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> His favorite was the Freedom Ball. Oh, uh, tell us about that. Yeah, there was a lot of cupcakes. A lot, a lot of cupcakes. <laughs> what kind of cupcakes were they? And tell us about the frosting, because that's like the best part. Okay, well, there is like, I don't know, one of them, but one of them had this kind of crust thingy, so, mm. and... Was there chocolate? Yeah, well, it was chocolate crust, and mm. there's, like, white frosting, and, uh, Okay. Uh, and like, Ella, what color. was, like, your favorite part of everything? My favorite part was going to the inauguration. It was. Yeah, wow. it was really neat. It's, um, you know, I left there with a renewed um, sense of patriotism. Oh, and really, I mean, in the crowd, the energy and the sense of hope was palpable. Had you ever been to Never been, never been. It was, it was amazing. It's just the pageantry and the uh -huh. customs, to be able to witness that with our own eyes is something I'll never forget. And we were really, really lucky. We had pretty good seats. Yeah. yeah. Um, were able to see the president and you know all the elected officials as they were introduced and they came onto stage it was awesome. Wow. Were you guys able to visit any of the other monuments while you were there? And we didn't have a chance. Um, we were there, came real in the quick. day before. Yeah, just real yeah. quick. Spent Friday um, doing all the inauguration things. It was wow. just wonderful. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming and oh, sharing of course. your experience. Yeah. And uh, you may never get to do this again in your lifetime. So That's it's definitely thing. something yeah. once in a lifetime. Remember. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. Yeah. you. Thanks for having us, Thanks, guys. Nice thank meeting you, you all. Have They're off day. to school. Yes. Now you have so, to get back to yes. real life. And <laughs> making up a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was worth it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.